I'm having print quality issues with a with some STLs actually that uh, are used in a project I'm currently working on. Uh, this is one of them. It's a single STL file with multiple objects. So let me zoom in and based on my experience the orientation of the different objects will not produce the result I wanted. So what I'm going to do is to flip them so that I'll have a better uh, print output in terms of quality. However, because this is a single object, I'm going to use a feature in App Studio so that I'll be able to handle each and every object individually. So the first thing I'm going to do is to use a decompose function. And as you can see here, the moment I use decompose, each object is now treated individually as indicated by the different colors. So let's say, for example, this one will print badly in this orientation. So what I'm going to do is to rotate it and I'm going to rotate it in the y-axis and flip it over like this. Okay. The next one is this. So similarly in that orientation, I'm not going to get the best print quality. So I'm going to flip it as well. And this one will require a 180 flip okay now the rest are okay right. now that I have changed the orientation of the objects I'm concerned about I no longer want to you know uh, have to treat them individually so what I'm going to do is to do a select all and I'm going to merge them so that they'll become a single object once more. Now, the merge function is not in the menu for whatever reason. It is here. Okay, so there's a merge selected models. And now you'll see that they're all in one color and there's only one STL. It has been renamed to merge.stl. Right now, what I'm going to do next is to add supports. So I'll enable the support surface here and we'll do an initial slice. And you will now see that supports have been added, but I know for a fact that many of these supports are not needed. Uh, Citus, uh, the printer, whether it's the Mark III or the Citus II will be able to print them properly even if there's no support. So I can go to the support editor, but I don't need to. I can actually go here. So I click OK. And then go here. Um, actually, I don't need this TSK because I'm going to edit the supports anyway. So just click this and go to the support editor and you will now see the supports so this one i don't need this uh this hole can be printed without a support and there are a lot of them so i'll click this and you will now see that it's highlighted so i'm going to remove it as well as this one this one and let's flip it around and there's another one here. So basically, I'm going to remove all of them uh, that are unnecessary, like this. All right. So there's more, like this. And finally, this one. So when you when you click on a support it will be highlighted here so you can disable it. 
Okay. So that it will not be generated when you perform a slice. But wait, there's one more that I can see, which is this. So let's turn it off. And this. Let's zoom in. And turn it off. Alright. So. Ah. Also, this one. They don't need support, so let's remove them. In the rings, supports are not needed for those. Alright. Um, I can still see another one. Which is this. But let me check. Ah, no, it's not. All right. So let me click exit. And as you can see here, that's the support I was looking at earlier, which doesn't need to be there. So what I'm going to do in this view is to click this and we can do a enable disable support. So it's gone. We don't need that. And it looks good. So I've eliminated all those supports that I think are unnecessary. Okay, so let's zoom out. And I'm going to do a slice. And there you go. So I'm quite satisfied with all the supports that will be added. So this is the bottom and you can see the support orientation. You can actually change some things here like for example the support angle like how this is going to be laid out. So we can go to our STL. Let's remove the current TSK. Go here and under the path we have the the angle here for the support so let's say for example I don't want the 105 angle which what is what we have seen earlier I can change it to let's say 145 hit OK and then let's slice it again and as you can see it is now in a different angle compared to earlier all right so you can also change this angle which is the support angle too so again let's remove the tsk go to the uh, configuration of the model and then we'll go to path and we'll change the support angle too from 15 to 45 and We'll see how it will look like after we slice it. So these are now the changes. And I think with this uh, angle, removing the support will be much easier. But even the, the default one is already easy to, to change. Okay, So I'm ready to print. I'm using my custom PLA configuration here. Uh, which can be seen in the materials and using eSun filament and this is how I configured it and I am currently connected to my printer uh, the Citus 2 so let's go ahead and do a print so that's it and um, I can post the results later thanks